Robin Hood and the Silver Arrow. King Richard was far away from his country. He gone away from the Third Crusade. Prince John ruled England in his place. Richard was the good and just king. Prince John was mean and greedy man. He forced the people a lot of pay a lot of taxes. He took a land and some money for some noblemen. Prince John's friend became rich. King Richard's, Richard's friend became poor. Not everyone obeyed Prince John. Not everyone helped him. Some men hated him and hated his meanness. One of these men was called Robin Hood. He was leader of a group of men called Robin Hood's Merry Men. Robin Hood's merry men was to live in Sherry Forest in Nottingham. They they didn't live in fo- houses or on farms. They the forest was their home. Prince John said they were all outlaws. Ordinary people thought they were heroes. One of Prince John's mean one of Prince John's men and noblemen was the sheriff. He helped collect the taxes. He stole the poor and gave to the rich. Robin Hood and his merry men hated the sheriff of Nottingham. The sheriff hated Robin Hood and his merry men. Robin and his men took money for money for Prince John's followers. The merry Men gave that money to poor families. Robin Hood cared more about the prince people of Nottingham than the sheriff. Most people loved Robin Hood, but the sheriff did not. One day, Little John came to Robin Hood. Little John got his name because he was a huge man. The hue was over seven feet tall, and he wasn't skinny. Robin said, "Little John, they going to shooting contest in Nottingham. When?" asked Robin Hood. "On market day," said Little John. "The prize was a silver arrow. I'm going to enter that contest. You can't go to uh," said said. Robin Hood, I win the silver arrow. You can't go to Nottingham. The sheriff will catch you. He'll throw you in the castle dungeon," exclaimed Little John. "I'm going!" exclaimed Robin Hood. Fletcher, he called. Fletcher was a bend arrow maker. He was very good at it. Make the best arrows you can. I win the prize. The archery contest started early the morning on market day. Many, many men entered the contest. The contest continued all day. Finally, there were just three archers left. The sheriff called, close the gates, and then let no one in during the contest. The guard closed the great castle gate. The three remaining archers stood in the road. A guard set up new target. These were slender willow wand. They would be very difficult to hit. The first archer should uh, his first archer to shoot. Was a handsome Frenchman. He was a very black beard. He has a very black beard. He saw under the nobleman Guy of Gisborne. Guy of Gisborne was very good friend of the Sheriff of Nottingham. Friend, the Frenchman drew his bone. He let the arrow fly. It just missed the willow one. The Frenchman was very disappointed. Guy of Gisborne was very angry.
The next marshman was the Englishman. His name was Simon, and he lived in Nottingham. He drew his bow and let the arrow fly. The arrow just barely touched the willow one. It was a pretty good shot. The last marksman was a stranger. He looked poor and weak. The his clothes were ragged. He had big blood cover cut cover his arm. A long bow is hard to draw. He must be strong to use one. The man didn't look strong enough to throw his spoon. Who's that? asked the sheriff of Nottingham. I don't know, answered Guy of Gisborne. Look, he's drawing his spoon. The stranger let the dead of fly. His shot was straight and clean. It cut the willow one in two. Robin Hood had won the silver arrow. That's Robin Hood, yelled the sheriff. Only Robin Hood can shoot like that. Quick, grab him. The gates were locked. We can't, he can't get out. Robin Hood ran the castle wall like a miracle. The rope, a rope came over the wall for the other side. Robin Hood grabbed the wall, climbed, grabbed the rope, climbed the wall, and escaped. Two of the merry men waiting for the other side. They were riding horses and held one for Robin Hood. The three men, men rode into Sheriff Forest as fast as they could. Hey, Robin! Called little John, was that blood on your arm? That's not blood, answered Robin. It's plum juice. Uh, little John laughed long and loud. There, there was a great party in Sherry Forest that night. Each of the merry men held a silver arrow and admired it.